So today I'm gonna be sharing with you how to lose stubborn belly fat when nothing works. And I'm talking about if you're women 30 plus and you're doing the keto, you're doing the fasting, you're doing all the cardio, you're cutting your calories, but you're like, why do I feel chronic cravings, low energy, the weight's not moving, I feel more inflamed and run down and I am working so hard. So a little bit of backstory of me, I was overweight, I was almost 200 pounds at age 13. I got down to 90, I've done every diet. Carnivore, keto, vegan, raw vegan, fruitarian. My hormones got all messed up, my thyroid, I had 15 types of parasites, H. pylori, SIBO, and my health was at its worst. And I have a different focus that I do with fat loss clients that more focuses on our gut and hormones. And it's how I help women. Like I have a busy mom of mine. She did my 12 week um, digestive coaching program. She's down 27 pounds, eight inches on her waist, eating a thousand calories more a day, training just three days a week from home. And guys, zero extremes. And that's by working on this approach that I'm gonna be sharing with you today. And today, we're just gonna start off, I'm gonna take you a little bit of a background of what happens to our hormones as we hit 30 above with women, why it's different when it comes to weight loss. And then I'm gonna share with you why it's not working and what I do and how I help my woman lose anywhere from five up to 30 pounds on my 90 day transformation challenge, doing a completely different approach with zero extremes and all sustainable. And little side note, my next 90 day whole body transformation, it starts September 3rd. We got four months left to the year. DM me ready. Let's set up a call to see if we're that perfect fit because it is time for you to get your health back. And this is the key guys. If you want a healthy body weight, you have to get a healthy body internally. So if your body is over here saying, I have thyroid issues going on, I got chronic cravings, I'm bloated, my hormones are thrown off, I'm having to take this pill and this pill and this pill, then our body is not gonna deal good with the calories in versus calories out sometimes. And we have to look at how can we get our body to a healthy state to lose all this weight. So let's go right into it. First off, the background. Why is it different when we are hitting perimenopause? Basically, once we hit 35 plus, there's this period of perimenopause, it's anywhere from five to 10 years. We're having shifts in our hormones, our estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, and what happens is within these shifts, we're losing muscle at a rate of 40 to 50% faster. So a lot of women during this time period, I see go to a lot of these low calorie diets, they're cutting all of our carbohydrates out, and they go on these extremes, and you may initially see the results, but what happens is your body becomes adapted to that, that becomes your new maintenance calories. If those 1200, you lose weight in the beginning, six, eight weeks later, that becomes your pause. And then if we're not focusing on the quality nutrition, getting the right protein to maintain the muscle when we're going through this time frame, the right amount of strength training demand on your body, then you're losing more muscle mass and you're gonna have more of the aches, the pains, you feel like you're getting that skinny fat appearance. So it's really important when we're hitting midlife and I see it happen early and earlier, so 30 plus, that we really start taking a shift on the way that we approach weight loss. And I did a whole video on Azempic on my YouTube, a two-part series going into everything behind it. I shared the pros, the cons. I have people come to me that they're on it, and we actually end up getting off of it, teaching all the lifestyle changes in my 90-day transformation program that is starting September 3rd, DM me ready. And I even have clients come to me, um, a beauty, Marianne, I did a YouTube case study on her. You need to check it out on my YouTube, my case study playlist. She came to me 62, and she actually got hit with type two diabetes, Hashimoto's guys. She had such bad low back, she couldn't bend over. She was doing like 2,000 steps a day, and she's like, Elizabeth, I don't wanna get on the medication. And in 12 weeks, all of her cholesterol levels are down, everything's back in range, she's down 20 pounds, she's like the step goddess, taking 10K steps a day, training three days a week, and she's like the highlight of my, I have a whole Team Yay Fit community for my challenge, and she like is motivating everyone. And this is by focusing on her nutrition, her lifestyle, she's eating more. So that's what I'm sharing with you today. So as I mentioned, we have all of these life change is happening, we focus on fat loss, we lose more muscle, we, you know, the deeper we're in a deficit and the more stress we put on our body, our sleep goes, cortisol goes up. Low calories, tons of cardio, throwing cortisol up. And all of that also impacts our thyroid. And a lot of clients come to me too, and I help them figure out thyroid issues because the thing is, 
is clients, um, someone's saying, I was seeing through a message. And the thing is, is a lot of doctors, they don't check the right thyroid. They check your T4, your TSH, T3 is your active form. So a lot of thyroid issues, which really, really go hand in hand with our metabolism and weight loss. That's another thing we want to look at. And then the third little aspect over here is the gut guys. So with our thyroid, all of the conversion of our thyroid hormones helps with our gut. So if we have an imbalance of our good bacteria, we're not converting our thyroid levels because we got our liver thrown off from our drinking days or diet and so forth, then our thyroid's not going to be functioning because the conversion's not going to be happening. And then that could affect weight loss. So my whole approach you see here is we hit mid thirties, you know, hitting perimenopause. We don't want to always just be focusing on the extremes because that's not going to get you the sustainability. We got to focus on the health because if the health goes, you're going to have your longevity and you're going to have your results in a sustainable way. So what are three key things that I see a lot of women do that keep them from losing the belly fat? And then stay tuned to the end for how to lose the belly fat. And if you guys are hopping on my next 90 day whole body transformation program, it starts September 3rd. DM me ready if you're ready to build muscle, lose fat, but get all of the tools that you need for sustainability so that you don't need me after the 12 weeks, that's you, DM me. And if you tried all the diets and you're like, I got gut issues and thyroid issues and the doctor says I can't do this, those are the types of clients I get because I had all those issues too. And I, I get a lot of the hard clients, the tough clients. It makes me excited. It's like a puzzle piece to help people. <laughs> and um, so the three key, key things that I see a lot of women do that take them off of fat loss is number one I mentioned is overdoing intermittent fasting. Our cortisol levels are highest in the morning. I teach all my clients how to eat, how to plan out their meals for their blood sugar levels, for insulin, for their metabolism. If you're skipping your meal in the breakfast, you're gonna get a lot of cravings throughout the day. You're gonna get a crash or then you're gonna overeat and that just throws everything off. Plus, we want to hit the protein in the morning so we help with the metabolism and the muscle, okay? The second big thing that I see a lot of women do is we go on these zero-carb diets. I've done them. I've done carnivore. <laughs> if you want me to do a YouTube on that, I could do that too for you guys. I did that for a long time. And basically, when it comes down to it, is we need a certain amount of carbohydrates too. Carbohydrates for our brain, guys. When the carbs go too low, what you may realize is anxiety goes up. Muscle repair and recovery goes down. And we need that in our body, all macronutrients. It's about finding the right balance for the individual. So I customize all of my macros to my clients. I even got off with one of my clients today. Her name is Sarah. She's 70, guys. She came to me 70. All these mobility issues. She wanted to get feeling her strongest self, lose the weight. She was on very low calories and she believed in like 30 carbs a day maximum. And I told her, I'm like, I don't go under a hundred with my clients, not in, Hey, we're going to take you to hundred, but I slowly worked her up, but I transitioned all of her macros. I helped with her mobility strength. She has her full mobility back. She is eating now over hundred carbs a day. She's losing inches guys and feels phenomenal. The inflammation is getting off of her body at 70. So it just shows you she was on the low cal, the um, low carbohydrate. She was like, I'm doing my cardio every day. She was go, go, go this. Like she's intense doing a lot of things, but she wasn't getting the results. She was doing too much. She was throwing off her hormones. It's different as we get older. Um, yes. So going back to it, it's doing zero carb diets. We need a good amount of carbs for muscle recovery for your brain. If you are chronically stressing yourself with over exercising, you're not eating enough food, you're going to start getting hormone imbalances, lose your period. You know, you may get chronic anxiety. You may start getting constipation and gut issues, then thyroid issues. If you've got thyroid issues, that slows the gut motility, then we're constipated. So everything goes hand in hand. And the third biggest thing that I see is that so many people focus on the calories in versus the calories out, and they're not looking at the gut. Um, the gut is something that's so huge to me and looking at the body as a whole system, because think about it, guys, 80% of your immune system is in the gut. Okay. That's where you absorb and stimulate your nutrients. If we're taking all of these acid blockers, I have a client that was on them for 10 years. She was vomiting every night with severe acid reflux. And she was like, Elizabeth, I want to get off my medication. She had acid reflux all day, vomited every night. She is in my program, nine pounds down so far, eating more food. We've had only one acid reflux flare because she had dairy. 
She's had no vomit. She's off of all of her antacids. And that actually actually takes your stomach acid down when a lot of the times when you have acid reflux, it's the opposite. You have low stomach acid, could have an overgrowth of bacteria. So we got to look at the gut because the gut is where you're absorbing and stimulating your nutrients. So if you're having a lot of vitamin and mineral deficiencies, you're losing your hair, your thyroid's going, obviously something's not right here. And if we could start working on this, that's how I have clients literally get off of when I healed my gut, guys, I had 15 types of parasites, H. pylori, SIBO. Check out my story on my YouTube under my SIBO playlist. It's Elizabeth the Other Fitness on my YouTube. And when I healed my gut, I'm off of all my antidepressants, my skin. I had eczema rosacea all over my face and my arms and my legs. I had stuff on my scalp. If I had bone broth and stuff, I would have mast cell. So I had would start getting scabs and everything on my head would be all itchy. I had a client. She had to take six Zyrtex a day before doing and working with me to heal her gut and it's just she's on zero and she's been away from me for six months and we talk and she's at zero so i'm like ah so my whole point is we need to look at things differently so if you're in a place guys and you're tired of fast fixes you're ready to get results you have a lot of things in your life, stressors going on, busy things happening. You're like, I work, I don't have time for this. You need me the most. We need to kind of create the balance in your life, find structure, get the nutrition made easy for you and get your program to you so you could achieve results, so you could be consistent with it. It's not about seven days a week. It's about what is gonna be specific for the individual. And if you need help, this is your unicorn moment send me over that DM ready or comment ready when I post this up and let's set up a call. Let's see if we're that perfect fit. My, it's close to the year. This is my birthday transformation challenge because my birthday is August 30th. So it's like, we're going to be going in this together. And I'm just so, so excited. I'm looking for nine busy women, 30 plus ready to transform their body, their mind, create a healthy relationship with food and get their confidence back to feel their strongest, sexiest self.